Hi everyone, good Friday evening. It's weather for Weather Geeks time. Let's go in-depth into our uh, weather here for the Mahoning and Shenango Valleys over the next several days. want to start out first showing you the updated drought tracker uh, now, uh, drought monitor I should say. Now this was last week's update and then as you roll this forward to uh, this week, there was more real estate covered in north central Ohio with moderate drought. And we're still officially in a moderate drought in roughly half of our viewing area, a lot of our Ohio counties, and then it's Technically not in a moderate drought in, in Mercer and Lawrence counties, but you know there's not a big difference really when it comes to the amount of rain that's fallen over the last several months. Notice the severe drought continues up in western New York, Buffalo, Rochester, Finger Lakes, and then heading down in, to uh, north central parts of Pennsylvania. All right, it was a case today of the haves and have nots. Uh, classic summertime day today where we had hit or miss showers and thunderstorms, and we still have some. I'll show you the radar in a second when I. Recorded this at 7.45. Here's a look at a few backyard uh, rainfall totals. 0.06 downtown, but in Boardman, about a quarter of an inch. Latonia, a tenth of an inch or so, while nothing in East Liverpool, nothing in Elwood City, nothing recorded at the rain gauge in Newton Falls. We did have a radar estimate over an inch worth of rain this afternoon, kind of in a corridor from Howland over towards Vienna, right around the airport and along Route 11 in Trumbull County. This was messy for a while with some localized standing water and some flooding issues uh, with a storm that just kind of sat over parts of Trumbull County for a couple of hours earlier on. Now again, uh, I'm recording this at about 7.46 p.m. Here was the radar at that point. A uh, little bit of rain uh, in parts of Mahoning and into Columbiana County. More substantial rain back towards Canton, down towards uh, Dover, New Philly uh, as well. And as we put an hour loop on this, this stuff is also not moving very fast. So there could be some localized flooding issues in that part of the state as well because again these are downpours that are just moving at five miles per hour maybe so you know you're not gonna see a huge flooding problem but local areas of poor drainage that sort of thing uh parts of stark and tuscarawas counties uh, yeah that's a possibility now uh, as some of this tries to meander east we might start to see these heavier downpours try to work into parts of Mahoning and Columbiana County, the stuff that's out towards Stark County right now. We'll see if it makes it over here. It'll be interesting to watch the radar over the next couple of hours. Here's a look at our high-resolution futurecast model, showing us, uh, generally speaking, what the radar should look like overnight. Not looking for much in the next several hours for most of us, but I think rain chances will start to ramp up again as we head towards tomorrow morning, and this will set the stage for an unsettled Saturday. Now, I don't think it rains every hour of the day tomorrow, but I think the showers and storms are more numerous than today. And that means a lot of us are going to get some downpours tomorrow afternoon. This will be another situation where they're not going to move very fast. So going to have to watch out for those uh, you know, localized flooding problems, uh, street highway flooding, flooding in areas of poor drainage. And uh, if you have outdoor plans tomorrow, you, know, you might get lucky and, and squeeze in those plans in between showers. But there's going to be shower storms roaming around, kind of flourishing in this moist environment during the midday and the afternoon tomorrow. Sunday, uh, the moist air is still here, but the little disturbance aloft is starting to kick east. And so I think while there will be a shower and thunderstorm here and there, kind of dotting the landscape on Sunday, it's not going to be as widespread. They're not going to be as numerous as Saturday. And this old front finally will start meandering east as we roll into the first half of next week. This high-pressure zone will finally build down and drive some drier air our way for the middle of next week. In the meantime, here's a look at our hour-by-hour -hour breakdown for the rain chances over the weekend. Might have to take up tomorrow morning's rain chances, maybe up to 60 for a few hours here tomorrow morning. But overall, I think the wettest part of the day is still the afternoon for your uh, for your Saturday. And then on Sunday, again, we're looking at lower odds uh, on average throughout the day, uh, but still that chance of a shower and thunderstorm. Here comes that drier air early next week. Uh, dew points in the upper 60s to around 70 as we kick off the weekend tomorrow. Still ele elevated Sunday. Starting to retreat Monday. Tuesday looks like a beautiful day. Sunny. Temperatures low 80s. Dew points 50s. Tuesday looks like the pick of next week, although Wednesday uh, looks pretty good as well. Though it will be a warmer day. All right, told you I'd do the August forecast tonight. August 1st is Monday. Uh, not seeing much change from the general overall pattern that we've been in for the summer season. And that features warmer than average temperatures. We've been, of course, warmer than average in June and July. Expect that trend to continue during the month of August. And not seeing a lot of signs on the climate modeling, the official forecast from the Climate Prediction Center. Not seeing any signs that it's likely to be a wetter than average month. Now, in, you know, in the summertime season, you can get thunderstorms that are localized that can drive up your rainfall total and say, hey, it's been kind of a wet month. But 
when we're speaking uh, of a broad area over the course of a month, generally speaking for our region. Uh, we're expecting it to be near or somewhat below average once again in the rain department. So August, I think, is going to shape up to be a lot like June and July. Not good news for those who are really wishing for some rain. All right, that's it for Friday night. I hope you have a good weekend. I'll see you back here as we kick off August on Monday. And be sure to check out my forecast tonight on 21 News at 11 o'clock.